morning, it's Rita Ferguson here with Family Holistic Wellness LLC. And today I wanna to talk to you about water and your blood. So what about water in your blood? Well, first of all, your blood is 90% water. So if you're not putting in water and your blood is made up of 90% water, I'll just leave that right there. So uh, I also hear people say all the time, Rita, I drink water all day long, but my urine is still yellow and I still feel dehydrated, but I drink water all day long. Hmm. So if you have a blood flow concern, then you put the water in, but you may have narrowed arteries and the water can't pass through. So we get narrowed arteries when we're younger, uh, during the time when we haven't had good lifestyle habits, during the time when maybe we weren't hydrating, exercising, you know, moving our body, moving our mind, moving our blood. Um, so sometimes there's plaque that built up. And so you could do four, five, six gallons of water, but if you have a blockage in your blood and to you clear that blockage, the water just can't really help. And one of the big things that happens is that when you have a need to clear the colon and intestines, the colon and intestines will try to absorb all the water that it can to help you to move your bowels. And so it's just really important, yes, that you drink the water, but it's really important that you deal with that, that plaque in the arteries and veins and capillaries, that you deal with that um, blockages in the arteries, veins, capillaries. Uh, so remember this, it requires water to get the bus on the road, just like it requires gas. And then the bus gets on the road and it stops along the way and it picks up great things. But if you didn't put water first into the blood, then it can't pick up the great things. And so the great things like oxygen, um, fruits and vegetables, hormones, red and white blood cells. So you gotta have water. And so if you don't drink the water, then it can't pick up the other things and the other things need to nourish the body systems, the body parts, the organs. So it's super, super, super important that your body systems, that your organs get nourished. And so if you're not drinking water or you're not drinking enough water. Maybe you don't like the taste of it because it's boring and it doesn't taste good. Then you need to figure it out. You need to flavor it with something. You need to suck it up and deal with it. Your body has to have water because I'll tell you what happens. If you don't put the water, then the veins get narrow and sometimes they just like collapse. So nothing passes through them. Um, the harmful toxins can't come out of your body if you don't put water. If you don't put water that carries the things that your body needs for food and nourishment, then the organs start dying, like diabetes, adrenal fatigue, asthma, um, arthritis, um, gallbladders die, and we have to get them taken out. Um, things die in the female organs, and we end up having to take them out and have a hysterectomy. And so we need to rejuvenate our organs and that's very important. So um, what can you add to your water? Can you maybe um, at night put some fruit in it or some um, cucumber or maybe an essential oil? Um, can you find like a, um, a healthy, drink powder um, that would do some like electrolyte replacement. Um, can you squirt some lemon juice in it? 
Uh, and I mean like cut the lemon, put it in there. Not that lemon juice that says it's from concentrate and it expires 12 years from now. Get it? It says it's 100%, but it expires 12 years from now. So how can you put lemon juice in a plastic bottle, sit it on the shelf, unrefrigerated, tell me it's good for 12 years. Ah. So find a way, find a way to get water into your body. And so one of the best ways to use the water is drink a bunch of water, exercise. And then as you're exercising, take a little break every three, five minutes, drink more water. That way it forces that narrowing of the arteries it forces them to reopen. And so you want to keep reopening. And you know what happens when you move water and nutrients through your blood? Ha! You metabolize fat and cellulite deposits. That's what happens. So if you need to lose weight, you just might want to enjoy drinking water, exercise, Exercise water, exercise water, exercise water. So water before exercise and water breaks during. All right. Have a great day. Oh, and this is Rita Ferguson with Family Holistic Wellness LLC.com. Again, Rita Ferguson with Family Holistic Wellness LLC.com. 937-999-2077. Thanks. Have a great day.